So this film was written as a creative way to shine more light on an ongoing campaign to end direct provision in Ireland. Uh, direct provision is a place where refugees are kept temporarily until they hear, uh, on, uh, until a decision is made on their case, but it's been, sometimes they're there for a very long, long time. So this is still a subject matter that is very sensitive and a little bit controversial uh, in Ireland. So we're hoping that using this platform and our voice as creators, we could, you know, enlighten and just kind of contribute to the campaign. So it's still a conversation that we're still having, but people are beginning to open up to uh, changes to this kind of effect. Yes, what I, what I would just say on that is there there are it's been a whole there's a there's a psychological side of things in this uh, uh in the subject matter especially when it comes to young children that's why we wanted to use like a young boy as a protagonist in the film because a lot of times this uh affecting kids more than they're affecting the adults and we don't see the results until maybe like a few years five ten years down the line where we didn't see the effect that has been happening so the psychological side of things to be honest we still don't even know what the impact is yet until so if we can try to you know now maybe we might be able to you know manage it in some way i guess what inspires me is just storytelling speaking for people that don't have a voice speaking for people that um, they don't have the confidence to express themselves. Um, I want to use myself as like a vessel for just like to speak through people and for people and um, through storytelling. So that's kind of what um, amplifies my acting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for me, I, I, I just gravitate towards stories where human nature can turn against because i don't i don't know I, I just have a a thing where i believe nothing can be good or bad but like to see humans being forced to do something out of things out of their control because for survival or you know to to get you know to get on with life uh, those are the kind of things that compel me to want to tell stories like this Um, there was a bit of a challenge because we got um, funding from a Midwest in Limerick and we had to cut most most of our crew and cast had to be from the Midwest which in Ireland there's a very shortage of um, and the, we have diversity issues and there's a shortage of, of ethnic actors so in order to get um, Ash, uh, Aaron and Ashraf my two leads in the film who went from the who went from the Midwest uh, there was a lot of you know, um, but we, we, we made it work and yeah, I'm very lucky to have them. <laughs> I'd say, you know, um, but like outside outside Ireland, it we've been, we've been, I'd say we've been doing really well. Mm. Um, people are very open, especially here in Mullins, like the, the, the audience yesterday, very hot woman, very loving. Um, but we're still hoping that you know back home in Ireland it could you know the, the subject matter in the film could could go a lot more places. <laughs> yeah, and plus like um, since the film isn't fully released to the public, um, we haven't gotten like all the kind of reviews that we want. It's just like people from like all over the place, and it's all been good. So yeah. I guess yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're working on a feature film. Yeah. You're still development, but um, we we got commissioned to write a, a thriller, a crime thriller in Ireland, and uh, we got commissioned from Scan Ireland, and now we're it's all done, and we're in the next stage of getting producer attached. But you know, fingers crossed. Yeah, we might be coming back soon. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Stay tuned for this TV show that I'm in, Kin Season 2. Plug in. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, that's that's my next big thing, and um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just making a couple of shorts at the moment, just to 
in the meantime uh, a little bit of a drama and a psychological thriller so yeah just a mix of both. 